hi guys welcome to money kitchen addiction it's your girl the only money with the double kk so guys in this video i'm going to be showing you all how i make delicious fish roll if you use this recipe you come back to thank me and before we start let me quickly introduce the ingredients we are using to make this deliciousness i will be using onions one bell pepper dry blend pepper curry nutmeg and thyme and i will also be using eggs baking powder salt sugar and butter so note that uh, the quantity you are using depending on the quantity of the flour you are using so i'll be making use of two macro fish macro fish is the best for this recipe so all i'm going to do is to clean them fry them and disbone them so i'm using the frying method you can also pre-cook it and also use it that way but i just prefer to fry my it gives me another good taste so all i'm going to do is to place a pan on fire add in olive oil yeah you can make use of any oil but i'm making use of olive oil that's what i have now i'm going to pour in the chopped onions after leaving the oil to out please don't use too much oil okay so i'm just going to stir fry for some seconds yeah this is onions and garlic sorry mixed together onions and garlic i added one garlic ball okay and i'm adding uh the bell pepper now the uh, rough blend bell pepper i rough blend the bell pepper and the onions so i'm just going to stir fry for some seconds before adding in the seasoning So I'm just going to add in a little dry blend pepper. Curry, nutmeg, ginger, and thyme. That's the seasoning that I'm using. One stock cube and salt. I'm going to pour in the fish. Remember to remove all the bones in it because of cakes so now i'm going to add in a little water so adding in a little water is to make all the ingredients to cook along with the sauce okay otherwise you will be feeling the smell of curry and uh, raw curry and thyme you understand so all i'm going to do is to stir and leave it i'm going to leave the old water everything to dry off if you don't let it to dry you leave it juicy it's going to mess up your uh feature roll. so this is it this is the fish roll sauce so i'm just going to leave it to dry 100 percent before i remove it from fire so when it's fully dried up i'm going to put it aside then we we'll proceed to the next level so guys i'm making use of one kilo of flour so all i'm going to do is just to use the sieve to loosen it up okay I'm adding baking powder, two tablespoons of baking powder. I'm going to add in sugar, salt, and nutmeg. After that, I'm going to mix. then i'm going to add in butter then i'm going to mix with my bare ants after mixing i added the two weeks eggs then i continue to mix Then I'm still going to add in a cup of milk. I'm using condensed milk. Then I continue to mix till it kicks. So this is it. I added a little water to it. I don't want my fish roll to be too hard. I love it fluffy. Okay. So I continue to mix till it kicks and form a dough. <laughs> So now I'm going to place it on a smooth table. That's my messy table. Then I continue to roll till it comes out smoothly. Then I place it in a bowl 
cover it and keep it for like 10 minutes to cool down so guys if this is your first time here please follow my page like and also share and also subscribe to my youtube channel and if you are my old subscriber or followers i appreciate you all and i say thank you for your endless support so now this is after 15 minutes let's see how it goes voila so let's start i'm just going to sprinkle some flour on the table then place in the dough I'm just going to cut it into little sizes the way I'm going to use it to make my fish roll. Like I need small sizes, so I'm just going to cut it into smaller sizes. Okay, this is it. So I'm just going to show you guys how I fold my fish roll. So I'm going to use two or three for example, then I do the rest behind the scene. So I roll it this way, I cut out the both side then i add the fish sauce i spread this fish sauce in it yeah so this first one i'm just using it to show you if you want it to have a lot of fish in it so this is how it's done and i'm still going to show you how i roll it so all i'm going to do is just to change my position so i you can see it clearly okay i almost forgot to myself that i was recording so this is how it's roll yeah if you are using enough fish so the fish would mess up the roll or would spread out so like this yeah you see the way i lock it both sides before i fold so this is how to do it if you wanted to have enough fish sauce in it okay so this is it after rolling this way then you roll like this so it's thick you can use water or anything or eggs to close the mouth but my i did it like this and it was okay because my fish roll was soft so this is another method you can also roll it like this yeah you roll like this when you are not using too much fish socks then you can lock the boat mat at the side then you continue to roll like this voila your fish roll is roll up <laughs> so that's it guys now while rolling just place a pot of fire and leave your oil to be very hot so i'm just going to pour in oil so to be very hot so i'm going to leave it on fire for like 10 minutes before i add in my fish roll so this is it So now after adding in the fish roll inside the oil, all you are going to do is to reduce it to medium heat. So my gas high to number 10, but I'm using number 6 now. So it's on medium heat, then I leave it to fry for about 8 minutes and I always change the position while it is still frying so it won't get burnt. And I will also advise when you are frying, please use a non-sticking pot, it's more better. So this is after 8 minutes, our fish roll is ready. I'm just going to remove it from the oil and keep it in a plate. Then I continue with the rest, with same process also. So guys, if you really enjoy watching this content, I will beg you, please help share, like, and drop your comment in the comment box, okay? Don't forget to follow. Thank you so much for your support. So this is it. Our fish roll is ready. <laughs> so let me show you how the inside looks like. This fish roll tastes super yummy. I am telling you, this is not for sale, this is for home use only because it will be too expensive for for sale. This is really delicious. I appreciate you guys if you watch to this essence. I say thank you and may God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Bye.